Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for July the 7th, 2014, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. I would like to begin our time together this morning with a passage of Scripture from Matthew 9, verses 35 through 38. In this passage, Jesus talks about a plentiful harvest. Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were harassed and scattered, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest indeed is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray, therefore, that the Lord of the harvest will send out laborers into his harvest. As people who understand harvest, we hear the urgency that is implicit in these words of Jesus. We know that harvest isn't something you take your time at and work at when you get around to it. When the harvest is plentiful and ready, it takes priority until it is complete. If not, the fruit of the harvest will be lost. That is why Jesus is telling his disciples to pray that God will send out laborers into his harvest. The harvest Jesus is talking about is not one of grain or hay or garden produce. It is harvest of human souls, a harvest of deliverance of the harassed and scattered and those lost and wandering like sheep without a shepherd. The harvest Jesus talks about in Scripture is still ripe and ready today. As Christians, we are the laborers that Jesus is sending into the harvest. This harvest takes place in our own lives, in the lives of our loved ones, in the lives of our friends, and in the lives of all that we encounter every day. Like the harvest of a field of grain, we know that it is successful by the fruit that it bears. The Apostle Paul tells us in Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruit of salvation. The seeds of this fruit are planted, tilled, watered, and grown by God's grace. As laborers in the harvest, this fruit is made real by the way we live our lives together. God's harvest is not measured by bushels to the acre but by lives changed by His grace and lives, lives lived in His Spirit. Where is the harvest ready in your life and relationships? The harvest indeed is plentiful. Let us pray. God of the harvest, we thank you for sending us as laborers into your harvest. Help us to harvest the fruit of your Spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control in our lives and in our relationships with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.